Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we got a fun project called a line and grow. Start by clicking new 3D design. Of course, step one is to name it a line and grow. All right, so we're going to have a few basic skills in here. Let's start by bringing out a few shapes. I'm going to grab a cone. I am going to grab a pyramid, and I'm going to grab a sphere. Now, like I said, we are going to align and grow. So watch this. When you click on one of these shapes, you can adjust the parameters. Let's say we make that 15. And I'm going to show you how to make this into a cup in just a few seconds. If you do Control D and Control up a couple clicks, I think I ended up doing four. Make the second one a hole. And if you select those and do Control G, which is the same as using the group button, you've just made a cup. Now let me show you how to scale these. I'm going to do Control D, and then if we nudge this, that's one millimeter at a time. If you hold Shift, it's 10 millimeters at a time. I really want to focus on that Shift modifier, and then once I've moved it, if I don't touch anything else and do Control D again, it memorizes the moves. Duplicate and nudge is one of my favorite techniques. So let's quickly focus on growing. If you click on a shape, and drag a handle, it grows in that direction. If you do Control Z, it undoes it. If you just stretch it up, all of a sudden our cup gets a little bit taller, but it only stretched in that direction. It made these sides change their slope. Let me show you how this works with the Shift modifier. I'm gonna first move it to the right with Shift nudge so I've got more room, and I am going to Shift stretch it. This keeps the same dimension on each side as it grows, but it grew away from its center. I'm gonna show you that right here. We're gonna do Alt-Shift, and this time it goes around its center. So it stayed in that same spot, but it grew the same amount on each side. Notice those numbers stay the same. Now we mentioned a line, so I'm gonna nudge this out of the way so there's a little more room for these three. Once again, if you select the three of them, hit L for a line or choose a line, Right here is the center button. Now I mention a lot looking at this from a corner so it's easier to recognize that this is the center button for all three. Now that's not really useful, so we're gonna use another magic key, Control Z, to get it back to where it was. So real quickly, that's our scale and grow. We had just stretch, shift stretch, and alt shift stretch to go around the center and of course we did a line now let's do this a little fancier i'm going to do control d shift nudge shift nudge and i'm going to shift stretch it so it's growing a little bit in every direction and now when i do control d it memorizes and goes all the way out like that let's quickly switch to flat view and look at it from the top this lets us grab those real easily. Notice I've got them all selected. And then we could, of course, do L for a line. And if we make this one the boss and choose center, boom, all of a sudden it lines up just like that. Now, I had no reason to make this, but I just wanted you to see how you could use a line and you could do that duplicate and grow to make fancy shapes. I'm gonna grab this and move it off to the side. All right, so let's do this really, really fancy this time. I'm gonna do the Control D, three clicks forward, three clicks right. I'm going to turn it a few degrees, let's say nine or 10. And I'm also gonna do Control up so this raises up. And I'm also gonna stretch it on the little black handle just a tiny bit. So I've made that twist and get fancy. I've touched nothing else. If I do Control D again and again, check out the insanely cool shape we just made. This is where you can just mess with Tinkercad and make really fun shapes. If I grab all of that, I can still fiddle with it. Let's say I want to all of a sudden make it skinnier. Check out how funky your designs can get. I don't know if there's a real use for this one that I just made, but I will let you know, I have a fantastic lizard project that I'll show you up here in the corner. The lizard was created by TT and I turned it into a tutorial. And it uses techniques like this to end up making a fantastic project. 
So once again, I'm going to switch back to perspective view and I just want to highlight we had simple scaling by just grabbing a handle and dragging. We had shift scaling that went from one handle and moved in that direction the same amount. And then we had alt shift that stretches around the center. And finally, don't forget the awesome align tool. I hope that helps you with all your design projects. Of course, if you're interested in the lizard, I'll make sure that project is available in the corner. Have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, please. Also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.